Well, hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land and welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. We're out here in the back again today and you know what that means. That means we are working on the channel again. That's right. We are cutting in this channel, making it deep and wide and water accessible at all times. Uh, if you have been following along, thank you for being here and thank you for sticking in there. Uh, I know watching a grown man play in the mud is not the most entertaining thing, but you know what we're doing this for. And we are trying to increase property values here. Having deep water access at all times is one thing that I can do to really give our property values a big boost. So the tide is out right now, but it is on its way in. It has come up some and I've got maybe an hour or two before it gets high enough for me to try and launch the boat. I want to try to launch that boat today, see if I can't drag this thing uh, clean. But before that happens, I want to dig down in this mud some, try to get some of this mud out of there, try to create a little bit of a drop off, a little more of a slant drop off. So when I, when I back the boat up, it'll get down in the water and I can float it off the ramp, uh, float it off of the, uh, the trailer. That's the word I was looking for. Anyways, but if you haven't been following along and you're new here, let me fill you in. We are a family of six. We live on two acres on the river, been here for 17 years, and we've never had access to that river. We've been trapped by a 40, 50 foot wide stretch of marsh grass. And as long as I've been here, I've never been able to do more than, than very difficult, difficultly uh, manage to get a canoe out through that grass, but it's always been a pain in the butt, so we never really did much of it. But we are trying to increase property value so we can get this place sold and we can get us a big farm. And in order to do that, one of the biggest things I can do is create water access. So we've been cutting in this water canal from scratch. And it has been a hot, long, nasty, muddy, dirty, messy job. But uh, I do believe it's going to be worth it. Thank you all for being here, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so you can follow along with us. All right, guys, but it's enough of that chit-chat. Now let's get to work. All right, guys, step one of the day is to get this grass out that we cut the other day. just disgusting just mud grass and roots all up together Guess what? I'm in a boat! <laughs> All right, we are floating out in our channel. Got our boat here. I'm about to hook up the gas. We're gonna flip it around and uh, see what we can do. All right, so I just finished the maiden voyage. I didn't get any footage of it because I was just kind of excited running around out there. So uh, Keen's coming out he's gonna join me. We'll let him get some footage of the second trip. You wanna ride? Come on, tiger. So go ahead and shove us off a little bit, kind of get us straightened up. And then, uh, there we go, now hop in, hop in.
That was so awesome. It is so awesome. I tell you what, there is nothing like being on the water. And it is so exciting to know that I just was able to get out there from my own backyard. Ah. So the channel is a good size. It's plenty wide enough. Um, plenty wide enough. I still have a lot of grass floating in there from the last batch of grass that I cut out. I need to get that stuff out. Um, but uh, it's coming along, guys. And uh, let me go ahead and say, nip it in the bud. Yes, I know we shouldn't have been out there uh, without our life jackets. But literally the entire area you saw was covered just then is about a foot and a half deep. That's it. Um, so if we had fallen out, we could have walked back in knee-high water back to the backyard. Anyways, uh, but still, it is the law. I need to obey the law. We will definitely have all of our life jackets um, and everything else in place before we take it back out again. Okay, guys? Thanks. All right, you guys. So I've got the engine flush. I've hosed her down, got her all rinsed off. Um, I cannot express to you enough how excited I am. That was awesome. Just, just a quick short ride out there and back. But the fact is, is that we launched from the trailer in our channel that we hand dug. We were able to motor the boat out. <clears throat> Not in the channel, but once we got out of the channel, we motored the boat out because we didn't want to get it clogged up. Um, rode around, came back in, put it back on the trailer. Super easy, super light. Hooked it back up to the truck, pulled it back up to the house, flushed it, maintenance did, all that good stuff. And uh, it was not hard at all. And it's only going to get better the more that we do it and the more we get that channel carved out and dug down deeper and deeper, then we will be able to have that access for a longer period of time. <clears throat> all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I've got to get back on the mower and finish cutting this grass out there and uh it's been an awesome day super productive and super encouraging and i'm so glad that you guys are here with us thank you if you haven't subscribed do that and if you'd be so kind as to give us a thumbs up and like this video it really helps us grow our channel well guys that's going to be it from the hewitt homestead y'all have a fantastic day god bless you and i will see you again very soon love you bye bye